This is a green laser pointer. I paid just a little under $25 with taxes and shipping for it. It comes in kind of this Ziploc shipping bag. And you get a USB-A to micro USB charging cable. A little thing here that says mode one, remove the cap for a single beam. Mode two, with the cap, pattern and stars. And a little baggie with the air bubbles in it. And apparently there's something broken here. So there is a uh, plastic cover that has been broken. It looks like maybe it was protecting the button perhaps for shipping to keep it from turning on and shipping. Uh, but that is broken in the bag. So when I push this button, I get the pattern stars. And if I adjust it, I can change how that pattern looks. But I'm not using the cap. I'm going to be using this in single beam mode. So single beam is quite bright there. Um, I have just a little tiny bit of dust. You can't really see it, but every so often a piece of dust will go in there. Um, this guy's pretty bright. I'm planning on using this in astronomy. I'm going to attach it to my telescope so that I can tap the button and basically see exactly where my telescope is pointing. Now it has a little flat spot here with a tiny little dot. Um, it has the USB, micro USB charging thing on the back there. It says it has an internal 18650 battery. So it looks like this bit up here unscrews and that's where the laser diode is. I don't know exactly how to get to the battery compartment. I'm hopeful that the battery is user um, replaceable, but I don't know what unscrews to get into that. I, I think you might have to get access through the top here. Um, so I haven't looked into that too closely into how that access would work and if you can replace the battery yourself. So this is a momentary arm switch so I'll have to be pushing that anytime I want to see where my telescope's aiming but I chose that over a switch that I could turn on and lock arm because I don't want this thing just indiscriminately pointing up at the sky. Um, I'm close enough to an airport that I want to you know not have a laser going all the time just you know when I need to see where I'm aiming the telescope. So there is another plastic piece here that apparently is for focusing. As I turn this in, the beam is the beam spot is getting smaller. So this guy here appears to be a beam focusing type adjustment. It looks like tight in is where you want it to be. All right, so it's daytime outside, shooting out my window. I can clearly see a spot on this tree. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but I can clearly see the green spot on the tree. Um, I'm moving it to the hedge or the shadow of the tree, and the hedge is where I'm moving the spot up and down. And I can see that very clearly. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video. So when I turn this on, you can see there's a reflected green light all over the place here. So, you know, that laser spot is pretty bright but it's also lighting up the area near it with this reflected green light. If I go there, you can see it on the far wall and it's pretty large on the far wall. So it's, you know, not a super tight spot. So size wise, the listing says it's 0.9 inches in diameter. I'm measuring closer to 0.85 at various places. I'm getting 0.855. Um, you know, 0.852 on the plastic up here. I'm getting 0.856. So it's, you know, close to 0.9 inches, but just a little bit smaller in most places. Metric, I'm getting 21 21.6, 21.7, 21.65, 21.75. So length here without the pattern cap is just slightly over six inches. This little dot, when you push the button to start the laser, will show a blue LED. And when you plug it in to charge, it lights up red. The light turns out when it's fully charged. All right, I have a dimly lit garage and I can see the beam just bouncing off of various dust and so forth in my garage here. Not sure if you can see it in the camera viewfinder or not, but I can definitely see it. So when someone asks, hey, what are you looking at with this telescope? Hit that thing and say, look, 
I'm looking at that thing right up there. Yeah, so this guy is plenty strong for pretty much anything you want to do with it other than maybe popping balloons. Um, you know, it's actually a little brighter than you probably want to use for presentations because it's, you know, probably distracting to use this thing for presentations. Um, but it works great attached to my telescope. It projects a nice beam up in the sky so I can see exactly where that telescope's pointing. Um, so, you know, if you need a bright laser pointer, this guy works really well for that.